No Bluffing Podcast. We back with another one. We got a very special guest with us. We have the LA Rams on, Puka Nakua. Appreciate you coming through, man. Yes, sir. Big dog. That. Big <laughs> dog. Yes, sir. So I got to be honest. I got to <laughs> say Why you call me big dog? That's you. No, bro. no, no. Mean, no man. Everybody, everybody in LA I'm, a, I'm on my way out, man. <laughs> everybody I, know JJ, bro. I got to be honest. I owe you an apology. When he signed last year with the Rams, because when he left, I kind of like, all right, man, I ain't going to pay them no attention. <laughs> so he signed back. So I'm like, I got to do my due diligence. I'm checking out the roster. Looking at the receivers, I'm like, okay, I know, know Cooper Cup. I know 2-2, yeah. two, two, he fast. Who are the rest of these dudes? Like, <laughs> who are these creative pl- I literally looked at him. I said, bro, who are these creative the players, players y'all got at receiver? These is like Madden characters <laughs> mm-hmm. or something. He said, nah, bro. You got this dude Puka, I'm telling you. <laughs> I said, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. That's how it was, bro. They have me in the generics, bro. Yeah. Like a 67 yeah. rating and stuff like that. <laughs> Nobody bro. knew. Nobody bro, so, knew. When, yeah, did, he, when did you get signed? August 7th. So it was like, I came the last day of Irvine. Like the last like, day of camp. Last mm-hmm. day of camp. And I, I didn't even we, practice. I was on, with, with Griff on the side running and stuff. So I didn't know, I didn't know anybody either. Like I was, mm-hmm. the whole team was different. I've been gone for two years. Yeah. I didn't know it was like Cooper Cup, Big Rob, Higby, AD. AD. That's it. I ain't know anybody. So I'm like, I'm just watching just like he was. I'm watching. So and I guess that's why Troy Reader and them were here when you were here too. Troy was, but he left. Yeah. Um, but that's it. I think Boom was for one year, maybe. But like the Dang, I didn't realize you didn't come back until Exactly. 2021, 2022, the team completely flipped. Like Mm-hmm. So. Shoot, I remember I was sitting in the back. Well, you know where we used to sit in the corner of the back of the team meeting room where they yeah. were all special teams. I'm sitting mm-hmm. in the back, JJ sitting in the middle with it, and then somehow him, you and Miller started talking about all, the, we all, was the, in yeah, Cleveland. Yeah, all the special team reps, and I'm like, man, that hey, JJ, that's you and the PP reps over yep. there. Because I was a backup PP. I'm behind school. I'm sitting there watching yeah. stuff like that, and that's how it really started. We was watching <laughs> Cleveland tape. And look, they was like, who is that right there, y'all? And they're like, what? <laughs> That's you? I'm like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Back in the Cleveland days. But yeah. But yeah you you definitely, you you showed me who you were. You showed the world. You, I mean, you you just had a you had a breakout year, man. It, it, it was crazy to see. But first, how'd you get the name Puka? Yeah, it's like a, a childhood nickname. Like in my family, my grandma who passed away uh, was the one who gave it to me in Samoan. It means like chubby, so like fat, like mm. a, like the little baby. I was the baby everybody was trying to hold, but it was like, all right, after you hold him for 30 seconds, like, all right, pass him back, bro. Like hey, right. my arms sore and stuff like that. So it was just something that, that stuck. My name, my legal name is Micaiah. Like, okay. I rarely, I rarely yeah. ever get called that. My mom don't even like, unless my mom is really mad and like yeah. hasn't talked to me in a while, she'll call me my kid. But that's that's about it. <laughs> that's crazy. My son, they call him his grandma call him Pocho. I wonder if that's going to stick. I don't think it's going <laughs> to stick though, because the culture is kind of. I, I want him to grow up like how I grew up. I don't want him to be like Puerto Rican. But I, I, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. But I wonder if it'll stick, because like you know, we, yeah. like your whole life you. Called that name, so that that's crazy. You get used to it, yeah. It kind yeah. of adopted. Porto yeah. Johnson, no chance. Right. <laughs> Coming from uh, Las Vegas, how how was that like? I don't. Vegas isn't really like what a big high, football. Yeah. Place, what high school you went to? Shoot, I wish I went to. I so I went to. My brothers went to high school in Las Vegas. Uh-huh. We moved uh, after after my brother had graduated from Liberty High School, oh, so like in the Henderson area, okay. and then I moved to high school and went to high school in Utah. Oh, okay, because okay. I know Gorman. Everybody yeah. knows Bishop Gorman. Right. Yeah, so, so my older brother, my two older brothers played against each other. Why well, had one brother go to Gorman and then one brother go wow. to Liberty? So like, oh, wow. my brother played DN and then my brother played quarterback. So they like, wow. I remember the first time they played was in in the state championship, and like my brother had my brother's a quarterback. They they ran kind of like a, a triple option type team, wow. and the, right running back, uh, he t- he pulls the first one running back. He's got the speed option with the right. My brother like tackles him from behind, but he pitches it like last second. And they score. That was the only touchdown they had of the game. They got whooped by corner after that. <laughs> out of me, like, bro, don't hit me, bro. Especially if you coming off the blind side, I'm like, bro, come on, bro. Like, be push me to the ground. Yeah, you bro. know what I'm saying? Just just lightly sit me down. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> DN quarterback. I seen like wide receiver DB matchups with brothers. Yeah, you know, but DN quarterback. That's wicked. It was wild, yeah. My older brother Isaiah, he's the biggest of us all. And then Kai, he was like, he was the quarterback. He pretty much he played like wide receiver. He was like, I mean, I would assume uh, like you were in mm. like high school. He was like, all right, he was our best athlete. Yeah. Just let him have the ball right. in the, at the beginning of the play, and then see how it all works out. <laughs> you never try to, you never play like quarterback or any of that. Like, no, man? I couldn't throw. Mine, <laughs> something wrong with my shoulders and like the whole technique. <laughs> I, I mean, as a receiver now, I truly believe like I could go out there and do it. But like in high school, no chance. I did, I played DB one rep in high school. Like we played. Uh, Santa Margarita, they're a California team. We came mm-hmm. out here, 
we're going off like the the first half is like 35 to 35 and i'm like like we can't guard this we can't guard this receiver like he got him like all right i'm playing you on put me on him off covers me and him i'm I'm on the left hash looking i look and as soon as i take my eyes off him i look to the quarterback post right across my face (laughs) (laughs) chasing chasing oh he catch the ball at the hash and just die right at his feet missing me i was like i i I got the side of the coach i'm playing straight (laughs) off don't don't put me at db no more (laughs) yeah i i I don't like running backwards i don't like that how how was uh football in utah then it's definitely grown it's like there was a we had three kids on my high school team going to the NFL. Noah Sewell plays for the Chicago Bears right now. Kingsley was just the offensive mm-hmm. lineman drafted That's by the cousin, Chiefs. Right? Yep. Yeah, both, okay. of, both of them is my cousins. Oh. And then, so it's like, there was, it's not like California where there's concentrated talent all at one school. Or right. like, there's like, there's powerhouses. There, everybody's kind of spread out. So that was like, I feel like there was good kids, but it's like, you never got that one when we got three kids at our school and like we had a group of kids that I played up from seventh grade all the way till we graduated. Mm -hmm. Like that was the best core of talent in Utah. Like we had for sure had, but they got the corn cannon, Zach Wilson school out there Mm -hmm. now, like where they got a decent amount of money where like they kind of do a little bit of recruiting, but it was, I mean, (laughs) I got, I got, I said a lot. I set a decent amount of records in high school too. Like I I got to go crazy where it's playing. We got to play the Bishop Gorman's and we try to play other talent, but it was like, Man, like I got to go against my brothers, and then we went to the the pylons, the seven on sevens, where we were in Vegas, and we played the Miami teams, and yeah, we was playing crazy. everybody out there. So it was like, man, I had I knew that there was like, man, I'm playing these kids, but there's talent that I'm like, I, that's where I want to be at. So yeah. it was like, yeah. we how did, do I? We did like a see Maryland kind of did similar. Like we yeah. got it's a small state, but it's a lot of talent. Like you look around mm-hmm. the league, it's a lot of dudes from Maryland. So we had to do like that seven on seven circuit too. It would have been crazy. Out there, bro. It would have been crazy if it would have been like we got a Utah team. We playing against a Utah team today. I'm <laughs> yeah, like, what? Yeah. But now you look at the the Utah, the Utes, yeah. uh, BYU. Yeah. It's Especially Utah in the last couple of years, like BYU has always been known for like more of the defensive side mm-hmm. of the ball, and it's like where now we got like you when I feel like you have a big quarterback come right. out of like your state where it's like, oh wow, like yeah. who was he training with? All these right. kids mm-hmm. want to play quarterback yeah. now, and then you get wide out. She's like, okay, you guys like the guy who trained me be training all the guys out there in Utah yep. too. Like he trained right. a. Like some of the Utah receivers, all the most of BYU guys train with him, so it's like that's legit. That's it. It kind of builds like a football like program in that way, and being like, man, it's crazy to think like me and Zach Wilson, we were at like the the open invite USC camp like my sophomore year and his junior year. We had a picture of us, and it's like they had no idea who we were, and it's like, well, I mean, not that I went high in the draft, but it's like Zach went number one or two, yeah, number two, and then it's like we came out the next year, and then we had a running back. So it's a yeah, it's spread out, so it's hard to say that it's good. (laughs) Wow. <laughs> necessarily so when you when did you get your first offer and what who was it first offer was BYU my brother Damn. Kai my brother Kai played at, uh was undrafted with the Browns mm-hmm. he was uh, he was at BYU so we had just moved to Utah I was a freshman and he, that was his last year and Kalani came in and that was my first offer so you committed on the spot no nah, I, I I was like oh no chance I grew up yeah. in Vegas like it was like I had seen different talent whereas like even when we moved here I was like oh do I like Utah like it's kind of like a weird place like it wasn't home to me because that's not where I was born and stuff yeah so then I was like ah do I want to stay here I want to grow out and like I want to experience something new right. So I was like oh I knew I want to get out my I committed to USC I got the special invite to their their elite camp Why went to the elite USC camp. offered you yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, I tried. Legit. Yeah, I, I wanted to you come out legit. here. That's what Clay Helen. Yeah, I, <laughs> fight on, I, baby. So, fight okay, on. My, my whole senior year, I'm committed to USC. They got Clay Helen, Brew McCoy, like yeah. Drake London. So mm, it's like damn. our class and like uh, they have our class is stacked. Like, yeah. We, yeah. like we got a ton of receivers. So like, I remember going. Uh, boys. Who was uh, they had Amon Ra was on my visit. Like we did like the one they did one big visit, but damn. I didn't sign in the early signing mm. period. And I was like, because I just, I wasn't sure. I was like, they weren't really showing me love. I commit yeah. on the spot. My mom grew up in Orange County. I was like, bro, if my mom loves, like, I've never seen my mom so happy. I was like, my mom's, my mom loves this place. I can make football work. Like, Absolutely. It'll, it'll, it'll work out. Right, Absolutely. right. In LA, I'm like, it'll figure its way out. And then I ended up going to Washington because the guy, uh, Coach Adams, who coached Coop in college, he was, at he East got the job Washington. at Washington. Boom. Yeah. Okay. And then so I, I connected with him and like, because Coach Pete was, uh, Chris Peterson was at Washington mm-hmm. and he wasn't wow. about to recruit me because I was committed to another school so I was uh, like coach I'm pretty much decommitted they know I'm not about to commit but I'm like just if all falls worse I'll go be whatever they think is the number four receiver at USC so it's like, <laughs> ah. yeah, so yeah. like, that's why it was tough it was yeah. like man I feel like I'm 
all these guys are all in the same class. Like, I, I know I'm not 6'6", Drake London, but I'm like, bro, right. I was like, I know I could play. Hey, like, forget they had, him. They had Brew McCoy, and, like, they had all these guys who were, like, ranked above me. Like, they're all great players, and they're all, I mean, they're all still good wideouts, but mm -hmm. it's just like, I mean, I was like, I didn't want to go sit behind somebody when I was like, I think I have a chance to play as a freshman. So yeah. I went to yeah. UW. Okay. So what from UW, what made you transfer to BYU? I, I pretty much COVID. Like, that was, like, COVID, and then, like, my, my grandma, who... To live with us growing up was how was it playing in college during COVID? Some, though? some teams they didn't have a season. Yeah, we like, played four games. See? We played four games. So like, it's nobody in the crowds. They got the cutouts just like, but they got fifty. <laughs> not like the NFL where they got a hundred cut. We got fifteen cutouts of just like just random. random. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't even know. It's like it honestly, it's all the Huskies like the same Husky dog like cut out seventeen different ways. And I'm like, it was so crazy. Like we played four games, and then I had surgery on my foot redone because I broke it my freshman year. And then I had it redone, so it's like COVID, middle of like the big city of Seattle shut down. I'm in the I'm in my freaking one bedroom, or me and my roommate where the I'm in my room, foot up, and I'm like, this sucks. My yeah. mom calls me, he's like, your grandma's diagnosed with like ovarian cancer, and it's like wow. she's got like four to six months to live, and it was like four months right on the dot when she had passed. I moved back home, me and my brother had transferred there, and then like in September, uh, that beginning that beginning of the football season, she had passed away. So it was like to be there. I look back and I'd be like, man, COVID was the reason I went home. Like, yeah. and it was kind of just like, uh, for like a personal reason. But then it was like, man, to be able to go back and be there with my grandma was, yeah, yeah was cool. it was special. How, how did you, how was your draft process? Like, did you know that the Rams, did you have a feeling they would take you if you was a, like around or you didn't really? No, I didn't know. I mean, I told my agent I was going to run 4-3. So that was like. <laughs> what you end up, what you end up running? I ran like 4 five, one. <laughs> Bro, if I, <laughs> no, that clock, bro, that shit, that shit a humble you, boy. Man. I was just happy to get out of there clean. Look, I, I ran slow as hell, but I knew I was going to run slow. Yeah. So, look, I, I ran. I'm football. I'm game fast. Yeah, right? I, I ran. It said four six one. I went back to my phone. Yeah. My coach from high school, we said. Don't run again, cause he knew it was only gonna get worse. <laughs> Look, we, I took that shit, and he said, "Do not run that shit again." I ran it again, it was slower, but you know, they go with the higher one. But yeah, that shit humble you. Oh my gosh, yeah. it, that really was. It so, was so like the process, yeah. Yeah, like I, I'm, I signed to athletes first. Like I'm with Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud. Like I'm with like. All these guys who are going top picks, and I'm you training. with the but, guys. So I'm like, like mentally, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm training with guys who are like the top tier of football, and like, and I'm doing football stuff with them. So I'm like, bro, like, this is where I feel like it's like the same thing with college. Like, I belong. Like, this yeah, is where like I, I feel like mm -hmm. my football talent is there. But it's like I never really asked my agent. It was like, hey, am I about to be like, am I about to be a first round pick? Like, I, like I never really processed that because I was like, my my tape is what it is. Like, yeah. there's nothing you can go back on that. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, bro, I know when you ask me to play the game of football. Bro, I know how to do oh, yeah. that, bro. Like, That's all the true. other stuff. Yeah, to, I'm not a run track fast. Guy. Like, bro, I'm not, I, like, bro, you see me. I'm not about to outrun no, like, I'm I'm taller than most of the DBs, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and if you ask me, to, like, I probably, I went, I was at the Combine at, like, 205. Mm -hmm. And then at my pro day at BYU, I was, like, 210. So, mm -hmm. like, I, they were, like, why would you put on weight? And I was, like, bro, like, I, like, I play football. Like, I'm right. not about to, I was skinny because y'all were, combine. like, out here testing me. Like, out yeah. here being, like, how much body fat, how much does he weigh and all this right. stuff. And I was, like, all the weird stuff. But yeah. it was, uh, I just remember on draft, I, I did never, I talked to the Rams one time. I, the guy came out to BYU. We watched my whole Boise State game, which is, like, my best game in college. And then I was, like, telling him, like, I knew the protections, like, what the back was doing and stuff like that. And, like, that was it. And then we went to go grab sandwiches at a spot like right down the road. And yeah. then I never heard from the game. I just remember getting that call. I was like, who is in Thousand Oaks, bro? Yeah. Like <laughs> Thousand Oaks, California. And then right. Mr. Sneeze on the phone. And like he's kind of like he's not like the best like overly so excited. like yeah, not overly excited. Like yeah. and it's not like I'm and it's like I'm the last pick of the fifth round. So uh -huh. like I watched Davis Allen get picked before me and my agents like LA's got like four in a row. Like hopefully it's you. So I'm like, all right, I'm everybody I'm not telling my family, I'm like, I'm gonna wait for the call. So I'm like, I'm sitting there watching like Davis Allen, Clemson. Commercial break. Oh, <laughs> oh no, bro. Like, is that good or is that yeah. bad? I'm like, no phone call. And then, like, commercial break comes on, phone call. And I'm or like, oh, my gosh. It's like, this is real time, bro. I'm like, this is like, yeah. they're calling me. And then they, they, they go, they call me. I'm watching. I, like, it's delayed, like, just enough where I'm like, all right, this is crazy. And then. Where'd you watch the draft at? Uh, we were in St. George, Utah. My, I, my family got, like, a little Airbnb. We out and hit the lake. Like, I brought all my family out there and just try to chill. It was so funny because, like, my brother went undrafted, so we, like, we did that kind of the same yeah. thing. So, like, we watched the whole draft, of, like, from Thursday to Saturday, like, every single pick, and every, like, however fast it goes, like, mm -hmm. we were there. So, it was, like, in the process, like, man, is this going to happen to us again? Like, yeah. I was supposed to be, like, the younger brother, like, hey, you you're supposed to learn and then get better from us. But I was, like, 
fuck like did i let everybody down and then i just remember getting yeah. that phone call just be like oh somebody somebody thinks i can play like that's yeah. all i need the ram but. sneaky bro they sneaky i i don't even think i talk so you know ted monago the I scout he be at the facility sometimes you you know his face because he he light up a room he yeah. real short older mm-hmm. looking dude bro i seen this dude at the senior bowl i seen him at the combine i think i seen him Somewhere else, like it's just this little. I didn't even know what team he had. No Rams gear on or nothing. <laughs> nothing. He's showing up like he me. But he had bro. He's like John Johnson. I got my eye on you. Know, he's like, all right, what's the move? Like he's just a scout. He, he ain't uh-huh. no coach or nothing. Yeah. And they went to my high school. I, I had no idea. This is when I was in college. They went to my high school to do like some background information. I never had an official visit. I think I talked with the safety coach a little bit. But they sneaky, bro. They they know who they want and they gonna go get you, bro. But like they not gonna make it obvious. So yeah. that shit yeah. crazy. Yeah, I thought I was gonna go to Seattle. Like mm-hmm. the, like Seattle is a team I talked to the most. They came out. They came out. They right? do a interview me. Hell, the coaches all came out. We did a workout. They were interviewing my quarterback at the same time. So it's like we did on field workout. He's like, all right, let's work on this. Set. I'm like, bro, I'm, I could run Seattle. routes, bro. Like I like yeah. this is what I I'm confident in doing. And then like we went in there. I got. I got a question about like running zap fuck the wrong way. So it's like, how who are you supposed to go get the corner of the down safety? I'm like, ah, like the the corner. And I got the, that. The I got, linebacker. I got like 31 out of 32 yeah. the questions wrong, or I got 31 right, and mm-hmm. I only got one question wrong. He's like, man, you uh, there's only one other person who got one wrong, and like I was like, they never told me who it was, but I would assume it had to be like. I don't, that's why I'm like, where did I fall in the draft? Because I'm like, yeah. were they gonna take me over Jackson Smith and Jigba? Yeah, like they no. had a first round pick. Like where yeah. was I on your board to be like, wow, I was the only other person who got one wrong. Yeah. So I was like, man, I'm about to go to Seattle. Like I'm going back to UW. It's like, ah, oh, is it gonna be <laughs> nice? Be like, yeah, yeah, that would have been that because they they stadium, their fans is wild too. So oh, they, they got no taxes over there too, yeah. right? The 12th man. So when we're playing week one, I'm no idea that I'm about to get. 15 targets right. in the game, bro. Like, I'm going through the game plan in the weekend. Like, me and Cooper talking, but I'm like, I'm not paying attention. Like, there's no, it's not like every time I run a route, I'm turning around, the ball's coming That's to how me. I, during practice. I was on the sideline because I barely played that game. I yep. was like, y'all, <laughs> he's going crazy. <laughs> bro, like, I'm, he, I, you text me right after that game, too. Puka Doncic. <laughs> that was the first time I heard Spice. Puka Doncic. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. Bro, I just remember thinking, like, there's like, they're not about to pass me. Like, there's, I'm not expecting 15 targets, but right. the 12, like, my family, my brother wore 12. Like, I was like, the number mm. I wore in college. So it was mm-hmm. like, that's like, that mm. was like my motivation. So I'm walking in, I'm like, I'm doing the punt return with Kyron and stuff mm. back there. They used to have me at punt return. I'm like, bro, I'm not about to catch no balls. I need to come out here and just feel the vibe, right? I just remember they were playing music. I'm getting late. I'm watching Kyron. I'm trying to track the ball. And then I see every, like, all this 12 stuff start coming out. I'm like, cool. Bro, they came for you for Like, 12 is me, bro. That like, they, right. they didn't know. T- I'm 12. And yeah. Seattle got that big-ass flag up there. Big they say 12. 12 bro. <laughs> so, like, I'm turning around. I'm like, bro, this is amazing, bro. Like, I'm telling the Coach McVay comes at, like, the perfect time. Or, like, I'm peak energy. Like, mm-hmm. I'm feeling like, all right, you need to lock in, bro. Like, this is the this is your moment, bro. And he daps me up. Big old dap of, like, let's go, bro. Like, that was, like, the confirmation. And then shoot the rest is yeah the rest is history is crazy because I'm like jumped man. On the porch week one. How, how is it playing for for McVay being like he's a genius offensively, just one of the most innovative. I feel like he's definitely. I feel like McVay has changed the way that owners and GMs are looking for coaches. Like yeah. he became shoot. what they want that young, innovative coach that can like talk to the players mm-hmm. and and have more of an understanding rather than, you know, they used to always hire like the old 65 Stuck in their ways, yeah. you know, yeah. So how's he playing for McVay? I mean, shoot, you've probably, seen it, you've probably seen him at a younger age, but I feel like where he at now, like the ability to take command of like grown men, like Absolutely. where it's like, I don't know what it used to look like, but like I know when like he walks into like the team meeting room or like mm-hmm. when he is standing up in the offensive meetings, it's like he, uh, he draws the attention and like the want to be like, I right, I'm listening to what he has to say. So it's like yeah. the, the feel like the communication that he brings is like it's top tier where it makes it feel like I right, he want he's trying to do everything possible like he can to make whatever we're doing right. So it's like it just gives you like a confident feeling and then he just like you just know he's He's always thinking like you think you're thinking ahead like Matthew. I can't imagine like how what his brain be going through and like trying to pick apart a defense live. But I'm like, bro, those two are seamlessly like always on the same page yeah. somehow. Like it's wild. Nah, yeah, that's it's it's something to see for sure. And I so I had played Stafford. I have been, you know, watching him from far. But like being around him, bro, he's a he's a G, bro. He a gangster, like for real. Like 
he really like a coach for real. Like, the way yeah. he be talking. <laughs> yeah. I, you around him more than I am, but like, he, he be like, hey, JJ, uh, on that read, don't know ran to something. I'm like, what? Like, what you talking about, yeah. bro? <laughs> so, nah, but him and Coach McVay together, but I see why they won a the chip. Easy. Right. Once they made that swap, I see why they won a the chip. I wasn't here, but it is what it is. Yeah. All right, so look, how is it dealing with, I'm not gonna say fame, but like, you had a great season, great year, name, no, Jordan. Your name is everywhere. Everybody, like, how is it dealing with that? Is it hard? Is it easy? I know I know how you are as a person, yeah. but what are, like, the highs and the lows that you've got to deal with? Like, I mean, shoot, it definitely is way different. Like, mm-hmm. last, like I was living in, like, uh, not to be, like, my like my environment changed, but, like, man, I could go to the, the Whole Foods and, like, right. go to Chipotle. They don't yeah. know who you and, are. Like, yeah, I could be there. I could walk right in and, like, have no issues and be like, why? Why is somebody staring at me? Like, mm-hmm. I got even, like, the, the new place I live at, like, the security guard. I, I got to... Uh, if I drive a, I'm driving this car that doesn't have like, uh, I don't have the freaking the, the like, get in the like, gate thing that oh, I don't oh. have like the the fob or whatever to mm-hmm. for him to open it. So I gotta go up to the window. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Like, uh, it's me. And he's like, hey, what's up, man? Wait, are you coming back? Like, they we just barely lost. I'm from, <laughs> I'm from Milwaukee, man. Like, are you? I'm like, man, can I get the gate? Yeah, I'm trying to go home, bro. I just came back from the facility, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm trying to get right where it's like, yeah. man, like my like thing is like that stuff where it's like. Man, like that's Dre. Like my neighbor, I'm cooking steaks in the backyard. Mm-hmm. Like my neighbor pulled up, like, like they're hey, look, they're looking over the wall. He, he like, like, hey man, did you watch the games? I was, I was there. We were watching the one in Arizona. Like, what happened, bro? <laughs> like you didn't go out there. And I was like, what? What do you want me to say, <laughs> bro? You watched the game. We watched the same game, <laughs> right. bro. Like, I, I, yeah, I didn't go out there, bro. I can't move. He's like, are oh, you coming back soon? I'm like. Um, I hopefully, yeah. bro, I'm trying to get it right. Like, I did I? Did I would I, love to finish making this steak, right. though. Yeah, I, I bro, would like, really enjoy that. He did, <laughs> like, didn't even ask about what I was cooking, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, the first question was like, how's your knee? Like, yeah, there's a part of it's like, man, like, they're obviously, they kind of, I, I would hope that they're asking, like, for your well-being. Right, but right, it's right. also like, bro, like, I don't ask you, like, hey, did you finish your uh, project? You're, you're the project manager. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. did you finish that today? Is that what you went in for work? And you, you got that accomplished? I'm like, bro, yeah. like, people just don't really think of it. It's like... Man, it definitely does like add another stress to be like, man, staying at the crib be nice, bro. I'm like, yeah. Man, I'm a Uber eats the food, bro. Mm. Like, I, like yeah. I'm a, I'm a do the Costco delivery and like where it's like you kind of do some of that stuff because like, man, most people they just want to like have a, like they just want to take a picture. It's never like a bad thing. Where it's like, man, I love taking pictures. Like we, we could do that, but then it's like, man, when they like they try to be like, oh, like are you come back? Like then it's yeah. like, oh, let me Facetime like my cousin. On the FaceTime, like my husband, my, my cousin in the hospital, like he's about to like he's about ah. to die. I'm like, bro, I, like respect, like yeah, I want, I'm like hey, what's like how you doing, like what's like hey, what's up, like but I'm like, bro, I don't want somebody's last thought to be like, right. bro, like me, like yeah. Puka, like Puka didn't show me like super, like yeah. he wasn't super excited. He's always yeah. smiling, and then he saw me in the hospital, like yeah. and he's like, oh, like yeah, I'm like. I, how you could I I don't want that burden on me like yeah. I like and I'm like it's that's what, like, like some of the stuff you see like, people bro. as humans like yeah, they that's see what you I was as like a, a figure like like a you know what I'm saying like yeah. a power like, and you always see? have to be this character mm-hmm. like you can't like the human part of it like yeah to sometimes me, like, I just want to get my food and go home right. yeah like I like, I could be having a terrible day bro and you just expect like oh Puka's always smiling he's having a good time like I want to hang out like where it's like man like and I don't want to be rude but it's like bro I I could be having a bad day and like. You you had no no regard for just another human. Yeah. Like if you saw somebody walking with their head down and stuff, you like you kind of just acknowledge that. All right, right, the energy is not to be. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna go out of my it's way the, to like the, stop this time. person. Like and yeah. like yeah. But, yeah. How, but how was it like the experience of going and playing in like the NBA celebrity games and? Because I'm saying that that was that was in uh, no Andy, Indianapolis. Andy, Andy, yeah, Andy, Andy. man, it was cold over there, man. It's that cold. was just like when we went to go play, man. It was freezing. They had this. It started to snow, so it was like big snowstorm. Everybody delayed. Like took like an hour to get to the game. Me and Kai Sinat, like we were in the we were, we were in the driver together. I'm like, this is hilarious, bro. <laughs> but then I'm like, bro, I see all the videos. I sit down in the locker room. We're all getting dressed. Like 50 Cent come in. Shannon Sharp, bro. I'm like, man, me and Mike lit. are there. Me and Mike I have a good time. I know Mike. So it's like, we're having a good time. And then I'm like, bro, I see he walked in with Steph. We came on the same bus, bro. Yeah. How you walking with Steph Curry? I'm like, they got all these videos. Dang, Kai's not walking in the tunnel with Steph. Bro, we was just on the bus. <laughs> how, how did I not walk in with Steph Curry right. too, bro? Yeah, and damn. So, but man, That's got to be fun, yeah. though, to like be around all them them stars and just man those people are like, so funny like laughing all the time like like it's it's a little weird because like you can they make it a small environment you don't have 50 mm-hmm. people like you're on a football team so it's yeah. like they're all like hey we got all these cameras for 
12 people who were playing in the celebrity game yeah. and everybody's kind of got their own media stuff. It was mm-hmm. like, man, I just can't meet my, I brought my little bro. I met my little brother and like my marketing guy came with me, but it's like, I would have brought Javante. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but see, he would have left his cameras at home. He'd have been, <laughs> yeah. been busy hanging out. Right. See, my little brother out here trying to look for every NBA star. I seen all like Kai Sinai, like all those guys, like he was having a blast, but I'm like, we, uh, like I just barely like finished up signing with like, Talking to Jordan, so like Jordan said, you got to meet Mark. I was gonna ask you that. You got to meet Jordan? No, not yet. I wish, oh, man. That would that would be coming. crazy. It's coming. You yeah. gonna get to meet Mike though? Yeah, man. I can't imagine that. I uh, I still there's still got a lot of people. It's like in the year that I've had, like it was super crazy. But like there's still a lot of people. I feel like I yeah. I met Will Ferrell. That was that was probably one of the top. Where we were saying had a suite for he, one of the LAFC games. Like he, probably like you he was so cool. No, <laughs> we love you, Will. Damn, he yeah, he does. That's lit. <laughs> what what made you uh, choose Jordan though? I'm sure you had like other other companies off, offering you deals too. So I guess at like the beginning of the season, like I'm wearing those alpha men stuff. I'm wearing like the lineman cleats. Like at like nobody like uh, Under Armour was like one of the two, but then they lost their deal with like the NFL. So I'm like I'm thinking like uh, at the beginning of the season, like nobody was really talking to me. Nobody really knew who I was. So I was mm-hmm. like I'm just gonna wear what the team gave me. That's why I'm rocking those. And then like I switched to another pair of Nikes that I wore in the middle of the season, but. Everybody like came obviously when they were at the end. So it's like now that I have a choice, like I want to go with the brand who's get a sh- cater to the player the most. Which mm-hmm. it's like I'm not coming out with like I'm not Odell Beckham right now. So it's like they're not gonna come like you're like you're gonna get a brand new shoe. But I'm like man, like hearing like how people like uh, Dak. We have we work with the same guy. So it's like he signed with Jordan. Like he's getting custom 17 shoes like for the, each game. Like this <laughs> brand we want you in brand new Jordans and stuff God. like that. So I'm like man, to be a premier, I, they only have I think I was. After they signed Bryce was the only other person in our class, and then they signed me, and then they signed CJ. So it's like they had three people Damn. in our whole so in our whole draft class. So it's like I think there's 15 total, and it's like man, the other number 17 is Devonte Adams. Or it's like man, that that's that, to that's be in like in the same association is like man, that's something that you aspire. Like it, it's still one. Like man, I'm right there next to him, but like there's a there's a le- there's levels to it still. So yeah. it's like man, we wanted to be up there with the best of them. Yeah, definitely. So me and you in the same boat. We sitting out yeah. a couple of weeks. Uh, how's it been? How's the rehab? We got. If y'all don't know, our training staff is phenomenal. I, I've been other places. No knock on. See, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Cause Cause you know, they I already look. I love they the bash. They crucified me. They crucified me. And I love to bash their ass right back. <laughs> anyway, so how's it been the rehab process and getting back to football? Cause we coming back. Yeah, man, it's been good. I guess like uh, it's been hard to like watching Sundays from either Show the is. crib and like yeah. and be like, man, I'm. I feel like I'm a. You watch it from a fan perspective. Like mm-hmm. you're still in the meetings and stuff like that. So you like you try to tune into the call, but the way you watch it on the TV makes it be like, man, why did he do it like that? Like <laughs> I, I can't see the DBs break. And I can't mm-hmm. see at the top. Of the route like how the route look i'm like i'm just seeing tutu catch the ball i was like yeah great catch too but i'm like i feel like i'm watching it like in a in a perspective that is like it, you feel in a different type you of see way it in the dumbed down form for people like me we just, <laughs> we just see if it was caught or not yeah, right. to, yeah to some degree <laughs> but the cover, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly i'm like i was middle field closed open i have no idea i just know tutu got open and i'm yep. like matthew found a way so i'm like yeah. hell yeah but uh it's been hard but it's also like motivation to be like man i, I want to get out there and like be with the guys because like there's got to be there's there's an urgency that it's like it, it picks up inside of you like man they're out there on Sundays you want to be with everybody with your brothers like there's sure. only, you only get so many opportunities you train the whole year it's like man and then you feel like you miss some of it's like you miss some of it and you blink and like ah, we're in week six yep. it's our yeah. vibe in week six right now it's like you want to come back and before you know it 17 games go like that and, and like, I always think it's it's so difficult for y'all bro because y'all practice ten times more than you play games yeah yeah like you train and practice probably a hundred times. For one game like yeah. if you include all the summer stuff mm-hmm. camps all that stuff right like it's more practice than games so it's right. like you really on, only get so many opportunities so to right. like miss them gotta be like super frustrating yeah man. like seeing out yeah especially that was my first time when we played green bay like i hadn't been to sofi at all this year like mm-hmm. <clears throat> i missed the the san fran game early on um and then so it's like that was our next home game so i'm like man to be in like the stadium and then to be there like go through like a a Sunday of like, man, I'm not putting all my shoulder pads at 1:30. Like that's no. Every time I go to SoFi on a Sunday, like at 1:30, that means I'm putting I'm putting my pads on, I'm strapping it up, and like it's time for business. And like yeah. that was the first time like I'm walking out there and like they already sung the national anthem, like the crowd's already going, like and I'm like getting like this kind of like a weird rush and feeling. Like, I'm like, man, I'm I'm excited, but I'm also like torn because I'm like I just I'm just standing here now, yeah. like I can't yeah. I can't participate and help in any which way and I'm like other than that like try to communicate and see what I'm seeing but it's like 
everything on the field also feels so different on this yeah, like yeah so yeah. it's like man i can say hey two two like you got middle field open right here but i'm like he's like ah but i'm like i'm i'm shading him here like is he down like he's close to the line of scrimmage like there's some like stuff where it's like they're kind of gimmies but it's like uh it just everything definitely feels so different yeah how how hard it because obviously like coming from vegas and then utah watch like but now being in la la like it's a, it's a whole nother world a whole nother monster how do you balance work life like how do you find work and life balance like just being a, a regular guy yeah. relationships whatever versus being you know with the work and being a star essentially sure that's why i feel like i try to hang out with the guy i feel like i try to i mean i do i definitely could do a better job but like i'm a homebody like i, I love playing a game so like <clears throat> I be hopping on the sticks with people. I be play. I just, I don't play 2K like that's so, And I I just basically got the new Madden, so I'm like I be playing Call of Duty and like stuff where it's like not yeah, necessarily yeah. sports related. We're like, to get in that war zone yeah, like, together, man. <laughs> right? Exactly. That's when it's like it's He's still competitive stinks. in a way. Like oh, I'm not good. I'll be getting carried. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be getting carried, bro. I'll be getting carried, bro. I'll revive you, bro. You need a buyback? Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got look, you. Look, look. If it, if it's four of us on the team and everybody go down. I'm not going to get us back. Yeah. So, <laughs> we might as well restart. start over. Yeah. <laughs> we might as well start over. No, that's how it be, though. But, yeah, I feel like I love – food is, like, a, a thing, like, that's probably big for me. That's probably why I name, was named Puka. Like, mm -hmm. I, like, I like to eat. So, it's, like, yeah. trying to – I be, there's way more food, like, variety than there is in Utah. In Vegas, uh, I was the young kid, so it's, like, I, I never could go to – the big steakhouses and yeah. spend a hundred dollars on getting right. like, a T-bone, like a, a bone-in steak and stuff like that. But like, yeah. I enjoy that because like, there's so many, especially like the the Mexican food is like some. I feel like that's big. There's so many of those out here, and like that, I love. I love trying those. You gotta I'm go to the spot spice, called though. Fletcher. Where oh, that yeah. at? Fire. It's just one in Huntington Beach. They opened one in Vegas. That's far, bro. Huntington Beach is far. <laughs> it's, it's hella far. But shit, <laughs> look, you ain't got some time on your hands. You, you, yeah. you said your mom was in that area. Look, y'all yeah, yeah, might true. be. Yeah. You know, yeah. might you go be. see moms. True. OC, take her to Fletcher. Bro. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> you ain't gonna regret it. So, man, you we talked about uh, fighting. I know I went to like, yeah. Sean Merriman had his little event. We talked about UFC, whatever boxing. Who's your favorite fighter? It could be UFC or boxing. It could be all time right now. Or what, what makes you like UFC and, and, and combat sports? Ooh, I like the physicality of it, I think, of going then. It's just, like, the reactionary and, like, man, trying to, like, what's close to what we do. Like, I mm. feel like, man, when they walk in, like, they do that the tunnel walkout, and it's, yeah. like, they got their walkout song. Like, man, like, you're going to war. Like, that's what, I mean. It's a gladiator sport. <clears throat> Football yeah. gladiator sport. That, that shit is definitely a gladiator sport. Yeah, wait, sport. like, a, a thousand times, like, what we do, but being, like, man, like not a lot of people are willing to be like, all right, I'm gonna go hit somebody like 70 times in one at one time. It's like I saw somebody said in the, like a basketball podcast where it's like everybody wants to be Shaq in football. It's like mm. I'm trying to move a grown man from his spot where it's like Shaq. Everybody's like, how can I stop Shaq from doing his drop step turnaround, yeah. bro? Yeah. The whole game of football is everybody wanting to be Shaq, bro. Yeah. How do I get up and move Shaq? So it's like, man, when you go out there and watch somebody do like ah 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 ah, ah and then it's like, man, especially in like. MMA, like man, you see somebody spinning elbow, right. bro. Yeah. Somebody's Flying foot, knee. yeah, for somebody's foot, yeah. boom, straight on the tempo. You're like, oh my goodness, bro. Like, I just, <laughs> yeah. that's that's top tier athletes moving and like yeah. that, and, and it's the scary. Conditioning like the, is a whole nother level with oh, that yeah. stuff. Bro. Yeah, the like all the guys from Dagestan, like all like the like man, like the the guy who just barely beat Sean O'Malley. Everybody's like, man, Sean O'Malley's like every time he gets in there, he's like ninety percent, like not missing nobody, mm. like tagging people up. Bro, the dude come in wrestling, just mauls him for yeah. 25 minutes straight. And you think about, like, in a football game, bro, we get, we burst for seven seconds, right. get 30, 35 second yep. break, got to do it over again. And like, you do it 70 times, but it's like, bro, 25 minutes straight That's of tough. being like, I get a minute break in between, but five, like, for 10 minutes, like, I'm just going to, we got a body to body, 100, <laughs> 185 yeah. pounds or whatever they're at, like, the whole entire time. Like, yeah. it's a different kind of. I, I had been to, like, boxing fights. Like, I went to, Wilder, Fury, yeah. Um, I've been to like some Bud fights, but when I went with him to the MMA, that was the first time I've been to like MMA UFC style event. Yeah, that shit is brutal, bro. Yeah. That shit is brutal. Especially, bro. I mean, I, you, I know you guys are ringside, like so you're yeah, close, yeah. like and you like you hear like when it, it's oh, yeah. bone to bone, you're like, oh, you can see the the sweat flying all. It, yeah, it, when like somebody's bleeding and stuff, and like you can see like, once they get hit. We seen a dude, so we got a, a friend, Chris. He's next up. He we trying to we trying to push that needle to get him to UFC. Yeah, he's right yeah. now in the lights out league. Okay. <clears throat> I want to say 
18 seconds. He got in there, just jumped on dude. Boop, boop. Dude looked like he passed out twice. He got knocked out <laughs> twice. Like, within 18 seconds, and it was just over. I'm like, holy shit. Like, yeah. This yeah. shit is real. When they hit the canvas, it's crazy. And then, like, Why does yeah. it seem like, even like in the... um. Like when McGregor was doing, why does it seem like the strikers always lose to the the wrestlers for some reason? Uh, yeah, I get like being able to like yeah, if I can if I know you can't like stop me from getting on top of you, then like I don't even have to be good at defend like. Yeah. But once I get you to the ground, now I just like it's you over. gotta stop. Like I'm just you you can't move, and it just requires so much energy where it's like. Yeah, and it's, there's the timing where it's like the strikers, they, they, it's like always at the first round, everybody's like, oh, at the new round, he's going to be able to keep his feet. But it's like, all right, now how, how long can I throw a punch and then miss? And as soon as he misses, that's like his opportunity to shoot. So it's yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. just waiting. So it's like, oh, I just got to dodge a little bit. Oh, he missed? Okay, now my opportunity. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's definitely harder to hit somebody than walk up to him and grab him. Yeah. Don't yeah. You think? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, and then you can't get out of that shit yeah, right? once they get a hold of you. But if that – if that, if he catch you if though, it land, yeah, yeah, then it's just the right. If it land, uh, all right. So we're gonna play a little bit of this or that with Puka. Uh oh. All right. So, just one word answers. All right. <laughs> Pizza or burgers? Oh, burgers. <clears throat> golf or tennis? Golf, golf. A night at the club or a night at the house with the homies? Ooh, uh, a night at the house with the homies. Okay. No, Diddy. No, Diddy. I, <laughs> no, I don't know, whatever. It's 2024. Okay. It's got to yeah. make no, sure. That's a fact. No, that's a fact. All right, would you rather be on the water, jet skis, boats, or snowboard? Ooh. Utah. You do, like, are we talking about the lake or the ocean? Whichever. Lake, whichever you prefer. I'll take the lake. I'll take a lake day oh, over there. Yeah. See, I'm a lake guy. I'm not an ocean guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, see, no this sharks, dude, yeah. you go to Miami with this dude, this dude jumping lake. off the oh. boat in the uh, ocean. I'm not doing none of that. Why? What am you I? Think something going to eat you? Maybe. Yes. Bro. yes. <laughs> I'm good in the lake. I'm not going. I'm bro, not, they're not going to take you to. Well, I guess anything is possible, but they're yeah. not going to take you to no shark infested water. Like. Yeah, True. But like, you seen the video, maybe because the cruises, they be in deep. Like, when people be dropping stuff off, like food off the cruise. Instantly, as soon as they step in the water, bro, yeah. that's you when you jump off the boat, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Vegas or Miami? Oh, Vegas, easy. I see. He, he a Vegas guy. Yes, he a sir. Vegas guy. See, Why though? To, Why? Yeah. Man, there's not like the Super Bowl was there. That was the best venue of like, man, I'm gonna go to the club. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna we go had a ball gamble, during Super Bowl, and then Vegas. I could walk five minutes and be at the stadium. Like everything was right the there. Gamble, like, man. You do that out here in like Los Angeles, where even in Miami, bro. Like I, I played my brother played in the Miami Bowl, so it's like we went out there. It's like. Stuff is far. Like, we're, you, we're in downtown. It's like, oh, I want to go somewhere. It's like, bro, now I got to drive 45 minutes oh, yeah. or so. I got to get stuck in traffic. Like, traffic everything bad. in Vegas is right strip. there. Yeah. It's top tier. Yeah. I feel like the, the Vegas like, not even a place on this earth. It's like its own world. It, don't, it never sleeps. Nothing ever turns off. It's always lights on. Go put you a bed in at the gas station. Jump on the slot. You know what yep. I'm saying? Literally. You, you, you win a million dollars at the gas station. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just like a whole different place. Yeah, it's yeah, the it best, is. man. It is. Um, all right, so some things that people may not know about you. Um, favorite, what's your favorite food spot in LA? And also, what's your favorite meal that your mom would make for you? Ooh, favorite meal from mom's is for sure her spaghetti. Spaghetti and some Texas toast. Nice. Man. Can't go wrong. Good eats. I, I, yeah, hopefully when she makes that one go back home, I'll be, I need <laughs> <It> that. <is. laughs> um, out here in LA, um, Oh, there's a spot, Matu. I'm like, I eat, I pretty much eat red red meat like seven days of the week. Mm. Like, uh, it's like uh, they got like a grass fed. It's all from like Australia. Okay. It's a, it's a good spot. It's, a, it's Beverly Hills. It's not too far from I feel like from where we're at, but it's, yeah, no, it's a good it's spot. Okay. What's one song that you can sing all the words to or a song that you could just have on repeat all day? Either one. Ooh. One that I know. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All the words to? Or one you can just listen to all day and won't get tired of. Shoot. I need uh I don't even know a song. I know. A Drake song. Okay, a raw Probably wave. Look, I want one, one to like continually play with for sure be some like a Drake song. Yeah. Oh, that okay. new he got that new like kind of house music with the the guy Gordo. Oh you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Healing or Sideways. They got some where fire. it's like he's that that, that, yeah. All day. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. It's Can't. like chill like house music. That's yeah. what uh, in high school, did you were you ever in the runnings for homecoming king or prom king? Did you ever try to get into it? No, I didn't. 
Didn't know. You had to get. Uh, you had to vote to get in those. I think you no. had to get picked well, or something. No. Yeah. I oh, I only went was. to one. I went to the one like male ass was my. I went to senior prom, but I took a. I was a. The peer tutor for one of the girls in mm. at the high school, yeah. okay. so I took I took like oh, we dope. yeah me and my homies we went with them so oh, that was cool. yeah that was a man you talking about people who know how to have a good time they those people they're never having a bad day mm. man they're they so we're, we're in a group with them like the teachers there there's like they all said like probably ten of them in our class and we all went to it and a uh, couple me and that was some of the other football boys like we took some of the girls man they had a blast yeah. but they didn't know how to have they like clown each other like because they like they are there in like in a different environment but mm-hmm. that was like a, that's a core memory for me for sure <laughs> speaking of core memories what's it like a it's october what's it like a favorite halloween memory or costume uh the spider like that's when i that, i feel like there's a core like a, a picture that everybody like remembers like Absolutely. all my family and my aunties and uncles of puka mm-hmm. like little puka as like a little spider like a spider. <laughs> dressed up as a spider but my face was so chunky and like it was, i was like probably under six years old and like that i know when everybody thinks of like man when they see me they're like oh my gosh you're so tall and you're not fat anymore it's because like that's <laughs> the picture that you're the thinking of was me the spider <laughs> might have to dig that up yeah, yeah. we gotta dig that one up <laughs> If you could be a character <laughs> from any movie, who would it be? Ooh, Iron Man. Iron Man? Yeah. Stark? That's a good pick. Tony Stark, yeah. You got to be the one to save the world, sacrifice. That's a good one. That's a good one. Shit, Robert Downey, he he, everybody now. Yeah, that's yeah. why I know. I'm sad, bro. Like, <laughs> that was my high school, 2019. Like, they mm-hmm. have uh, Endgame come out. Like, I remember going to, like, my home. We left... Cla- we left school, bro, to go see the movie like yeah, on time. Like, everybody clapping in the movie theater and like, bro, now you about to be somebody else. He's everybody, <laughs> you supposed to die, bro. Like yeah. you, we did the snap. Bro. He got Marvel in a headlock. Man, he like, yeah. I think I would want to be the original Joker, like he, the Heath Ledger oh, Joker, nah. yeah. not the new Joker that they, uh, not him. I watched the new one, bro. Like it was bad, terrible. <laughs> that hurts. It's somebody musical. said it was like, yeah, that's what the, somebody said. Like overboard though. Like every five minutes they like bust out and singing. Like it's crazy. Him yeah, and no, Harley. No, that's no, why no, I think that's no. probably why they got Lady Gaga to do it. Yeah, because no. she like musical. The Heath Ledger Joker is the greatest Joker of all time. Yeah, hands down. All right, so you was laughing at me on Instagram. <laughs> I wasn't I could, laughing at you, bro. Nah, bro, <laughs> you was making fun of me laughing. Cause I, I I missed. I got a couple questions wrong on Are you smarter than fifth graders? So now the the, the pressure is on you. We I know you can read is. coverage. <laughs> I know you can read coverage. Now we have to see. If you are smarter than a fifth grader. So here's the first one. How many letters are in the English alphabet? Oh, 26. 26. Okay, you got that. Told him that. Yeah, 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 I like that one. Okay, okay. Go ahead, John. Fifth grade, they should, yeah, they nah, should know that. Go do, do the third one. Okay. What is the French phrase we use to describe a scene we have felt previously? A scene? What is the French <laughs> phrase we use to describe <laughs> a scene we feel we have experienced previously. Like I felt this happened already. This happened already. I've been here before. Oh, oh, uh, deja vu, deja vu, ah, deja, he vu, got vu deja vu. He got that one, he got that hey, one. Okay. Took me a second. Okay. Okay. He if took you, two. See, see, if he you, took, if you yeah. cut a quarter into thirds, how many pieces would you have? Three. Yeah. Nah, 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 you smart. Nah, 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 you smart. Nah, you might get that one. That's not something I'm gonna mess up. Go ahead. <laughs> I got another one right here. You, 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 you. And this is this is a first grade question. I don't oh. think this is a first grade question. Go ahead. Wow. The first day of the 20th century was. That's a first that's a grade hard. question. That's a, that's a first grade. I didn't learn that in first grade. The first day of the 20th century. See, that's hard. That's tough. January 1st, 2000. Is he right? Mm-mm. No. no. <laughs> How is that a first grade question? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I, it says January 1st, 1901. I would have maybe said 1900, right? What? Um, but I guess it's the last day. Of, see, what, that's, I, what state is the Grand Canyon located in? Arizona. Should, I was you should all right, you that. got that Arizona. one. All right, all right. That's, four that's, out of five, that's, not that's bad. That's good. That's good. That's good. Like one for five. Hey, <laughs> he was like one for five. Hey, hey come that on, man. Don't, too funny, bro. don't embarrass oh me in front of company, God. bro. That, that we appreciate prime. you pulling up, bro. Yeah, this, that was this dope, was a man. blast, man. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Puka will be back soon, Rams fans. John John will be back soon, Rams fans. Hold on, wait. We one in five right now. What we gotta? I mean, one in four. Yeah. What we gotta do to like? Right the ship, cause you know one if if we fall to one and five, you know that's tough to shake back from. Um, I guess I mean 
on the bright side is that we were n- losing to teams that we're not even in our division. So it's mm. like if we if we win, like that should that that if we beat the teams that we're supposed to be like. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I hopefully I think uh, we got the injury bug. That's yeah. what I feel like we got right yeah. now. Like I mean, we got guys banged up, so it's like it's con- like what we say, what we talk about. Like practice reps matter, but. Yeah. Man, I think we, once we can able to throw the ball too, we go out there and support two a little bit more, give two some help, and then we gotta get our guy two three going, like bust yeah. out a couple hundred yard games where it's like, mm-hmm. man, they're they're feeling like once once they got to back up and respect two two, we can pass the ball underneath, but then also we get our guy two three down the field and it's like, all right, yeah. all right, we're not we're not far off. It's no, not. I, mean, I don't feel like we watched that last game and being like, man, there are a couple Arizona, plays. It been like it could have went either way, so yeah. just gotta yeah. find a way to get over the hump. But be all right. Yeah, yeah. we right, gotta man. get our vets back there on the, in the back end. Oh, There's money out there. I've been telling yeah. these young boys, man, look, that ball in there is yours. Go right? get yeah. it. Yeah. It's up there. So yeah, for real. We'll be all right. And if it comes down to the fourth quarter, bro, we ain't worried about it. We got our guy nine back there. We'll be yeah. like, if the offense got the ball and our defense doing our thing, bro, and we get the last chance to go win the game, bro, we winning them. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen for sure. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. We appreciate Puka for pulling up, giving us some of his time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.